Hey everybody, Soybean Farmer here. Uh, June 21st. That is water hemp. That's soybean right there. And if I'm holding the camera right, you can see how the water hemp has outgrown the soybean and is, you know, capable of shading it out. And where you've got a real thick patch of this being up above the soybean like that, it can really dwarf the uh, soybean plants cause you a lot of problems but uh, we're going to end this water hemp's life right now I want to reach in here you want to get down low and I've still got some fairly wet soil and now there's another one right beside it I want to get that while I'm here If you shake the dirt off of the roots like I just did here, you can pretty much throw it down. There's little piles of it all around where I've been just throwing it down. So far, once you shake the dirt off of the roots, I haven't seen any signs of it coming back to life. So uh, now I'll take you up and show you a thick infestation spot. Okay, this row, you know, if you look at, there's some I pulled yesterday and threw out. Um, but looking down this row right here, you can see some disturbances in the ground where I was pulling the water hemp out. But this row, it was totally covered. That row would have been, uh, it would have died. And I see a little bit that I missed here. This, this size right here, that there down below the plant in a week's time it'd be above the plant and uh, I just spotted one where'd it go I don't know there it is right here now this one interestingly enough haha it has the morning glory wrapping around it for a change so that's morning glory and that's water hemp and there's another small one there. But I worked this row, uh, see piles up there, got right good ways. But this over here, water hemp, beans below it. And in, I don't know, two or three days, that water hemp will be twice as tall as it is now. And the beans just aren't really taking off yet and doing their thing. So here's another spot where bean plant, water hemp around it. A pretty thick infestation right there of water hemp. Uh, that's the water hemp right there. Bean plants are down in here below it. So uh, bad thick infestation of it right over here, right along in there. And if I don't get in here and pull it out and get it out, then uh, you can count these beans out of the game because they'll get shaded out. And that much water hemp in there next to those beans, it'll take all the water. But I got this, I was real pleased with the progress I was able to make out here last night. It was uh, cool, there was a nice breeze. And there's more. Now over here, did an experiment spraying it and see there's one burnt looking not so happy but it's not dead this I've seen this stuff completely laid over and then sprout new growth at the uh, base of it so uh, interestingly enough I did investigate the uh, chemical Cobra and found out that it had the same effective rating as Flexstar on water hemp. Both tell you, you got to get it small. If it feels wet and you can't get in it, you don't get to get it small. Here's another case right over here where the water hemp, if you look here, that's water hemp right there. Down below it, there's a bean plant. Now if I get in here carefully, see how small that bean plant is right there that was underneath it? 
this water hemp was shading it out and stealing all the water. Maybe that's why they call it water hemp. But uh, anyhow, I'm going to put this camera down and go to work and see if I can clean up this little area. It's, you know, you think you're out in the middle of a three acre field and you're going to pull weeds. It's just a small spot. It's an infestation spot here. And if I attack it and get them out of here, I can keep, I can get my beans and get some money out of it. I mean, it's right here is a real good example of how quick this water hemp can get up over the beans. Beans are down in here, water hemp way up here. Same thing here, beans are down in there, water hemp way up here. You take the sun away from the beans, you take the water away from the beans, you kill them. Well, everybody, thanks for watching. And uh, thanks for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate you. Bye, y'all. Okay, here's a spot where it's really, really thick with water hemp. There's one bean plant uh, right here that's managed to get up above it. But the rest of it is going to be kind of amazing because I've already gone through this area right here where the water hemp was up above the beans. And you can see here how small these were being shaded out. So maybe a mark here. I'm going to stand on this exact spot and I'll give you a, this is the before picture, and then I'll give you an after picture. All right, I'm back on the exact spot where I did the before shot. And here, looking up through here, the little ways that I went, here's the after shot. Now, let me get down here and give you a detailed look. This little plant right here was totally shad, just totally shaded out. That one was, so was that one. That one right there was also. I mean, I had to pick carefully around them uh, not to pull the bean plant up because they've been deprived of sunlight. And I see I missed a few. But that row right through there, and you see the little bitty ones up here, Right here again, here, here, here. That one was almost dead. But um, when that water hemp gets so thick like that around these beans, it'll kill them. Just flat choke them out and kill them. But uh, I've knocked a pretty good little dent in this area right here and that area over there. And there's a spot over there that I do believe the uh, plants, bean plants, have actually recovered and revived themselves uh, just today. My wife told me that it did not rain here today. And there's the sun going down over the trees over there. That's nice to see. Well, it's been soybean farmer out here fighting this water hemp. I ain't giving up. Everybody, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Bye, y'all.